What's up, dudes? Welcome back to another episode of Ramas Men's Team. Uh, pretty simple. We are a group of guys helping each other make progress towards each other's goals. If you're new to the channel, awesome and welcome. If you want to help support the channel and join our pro team, head over to ramasteam.com pro, where you can contribute to us on a donation basis. We also give you access to exclusive content, mastermind groups, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, hope you enjoy this episode and we'll see you on the team. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Ooh. Are we live? <laughs> yeah, we're live. Oh, the Valentine's Day. Okay, so how do you, let's just hop right in if you're cool with it. Mm -hmm. um, what is your perspective on Valentine's Day? Do you go all in on it? Do you celebrate it? Or is it like, oh, it's a commercialized thing? What is it for you? Um, I'm sorry, you guys get the crotch shot today. That's because yeah, it's, it's Valentine's it's, Day. It's Valentine's Day. It's V-Day. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't really... Uh... I don't think too much about it. Like tonight we're going out to dinner and it'll be me, Brittany and Maya all going out. So it'll be fun. Just, oh, awesome. just some pure agape love. And then when we, when we get back, it'll be a little bit of Eros. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, I would say gift. I would say, you know, you give it a gift, you know? It's going to be on and popping. Yep. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, all right. What do we got going on here? Oh, okay. Come uh, on. Oh, man. It's Valentine's it Day. I love you there so much. Is. I don't know what it is about today. <laughs> because yeah. it's, it is a, uh, it's always a struggle. I, so last night I just planned out my annual, like, it doesn't land on my goals list, but it's now the annual calendar of like, what are the holidays? What are the things I have to plan for? What are the things I, like, the bonus things I need to do for others that don't land on my goal list because I don't want like a whole project plan around them? But if I can get to them, they're nice to have. It's like Valentine's Day is one of them, um, you know, et cetera. So, uh, so I do think it's going to land ultimately. So like, let's say next year, I will for sure, if I'm with somebody, I'll for sure be planning something and like pretty hardcore about it. Um, so, yeah. I mean, you know how you can be single and have a Valentine. Someone can just be your Valentine. <clears throat> oh, that's true. That's true, man. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I think it's, I personally think it is a, uh, it's a good thing to do. It's something you shouldn't blow off. I think it's a more of a new couple thing. Oh shit! You can't hear me anymore. Hey, can you hear? Hello, can you hear me now? Okay, yeah, that works. Yeah, yeah. my opinion is it's a uh, you know it's not something you should blow off. That would be bad. It's also I think it's a more it's a new couple thing, but it's also it's something nice to do. We 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 go out every every year. We go out either the day before Valentine's Day. Uh huh. That's what we tried to do this year, but, you know, it was for somehow they were like, can you just come at 5 p.m. on Valentine's Day? We're like, yes. Oh, so, nice. Yeah, man. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it, it is funny when you go out and you see the couples who have been together for like six months and it's all like, uh, uh, I'll get your chair. I'll do, you know, all this stuff. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's nice. It is nice to see. But, yeah, yeah. I think it's, it's good to do. It's important. Even, you know, even if you do feel like it's just commercial, it's like, I mean, okay, fine. But, you know. It's not, yeah. it's not, it's not for dudes. It's not for dudes. It's just, you know, it's just one day. You have yeah. To do stuff. Yeah, exactly. I think your options here are like, yeah, don't do something or half ass it and then pay the consequences. And it's completely up to you if, if that tab is too big for you or not. Um, or you just go along with it. I do think like if you, if your number one, my number one goal is to find a partner, like hands down, like that, that's going to be the number one decision in my life. It's like, you're muted somehow. Where's your headset, dude? <laughs> you're still muted. Oh, can you hear me? Yep, yep, yep. Dude, when you're on your phone for this, if somebody calls you, does it mess it all up? It's a good question. I don't think anyone called me while I was on it, so that's potentially okay. a thing. That's what's happening, so I need to stop taking it from my phone. Um, okay, so uh, so yeah, so I don't know that you want to pay the price of like having a significant other uh, who's expecting something on Valentine's Day. But uh, what I was saying is like my number one decision, like for sure, will be who I get married to. Like there, there is no close second. Um, so with that being said, the question is like, should we spend one or two days a year celebrating that? Um, and I could totally see that as being reasonable, like celebrating your anniversary and celebrating, let, let's say, by default kind of Valentine's Day because it's already baked into the schedule. And if you don't do it um, now, your female is going to be contrasting 
what everyone else is doing oh, and yeah. you're not on that day. Scroll in the feed. Scroll in the feed <laughs> and go on. Huh, interesting. <laughs> Where's my thing? Exactly, dude. <clears throat> yep, yep, yep. So, um, so I, I, like I was saying, I, I spent last night, I, was, I flew back from Philadelphia um, and planned out the entire year with all like the bonus activities. So like, you know, family members, birthdays and all that kind of stuff. And if you guys have not done that, I highly recommend it. Like literally look up the holiday schedule. Actually, this is really helpful for me. I looked up, I look up every year, I look up the holiday schedule, especially holidays that land on a Monday. So that way I can bookend it, right? With another, like a vacation day on Friday. So all of a sudden, which, you know, it sounds so obvious, but very few people do it. So all of a sudden you have a four or five day weekend, but you only took one or two vacation days. Um, so something to consider as well. That's pretty cool. Get your ticket. Obviously, I guess you get your tickets in advance too. Exactly. You can book like everything in advance. It's already set. You have something to look forward to. You usually get discounted prices because it's six months out, like all that kind of stuff. That's Dude, pretty cool. Oh man, I'm telling you, like I, I I've learned this this trick years ago. Been using it ever since, and it's phenomenal. And then like also like if you're celebrating anybody's birthday, like your wife's birthday or your mom's birthday or whatever that is, you can then start putting it all in the same Excel sheet or same document. Um, and then nothing's last minute. Like literally with a good six to seven to eight hour session, you could do all of the events through the year, at least have a skeleton sketch out of what you're, what you're going to do. And then you can even like order the stuff. So for instance, like I purchased a whole bunch of birthday cards. I purchased other materials. I purchased tickets to, you know, a hotel, all that stuff. And you get it done in one fucking session rather than leaving all of those special bonus events until last minute. And then you just look like the, the dumb idiot guy who's, who hasn't planned for anything. You stopped at CVS a little, you know, prior to your wife's birthday. Yeah. I'll be seeing my brothers in arms in right age shortly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think exactly. that's a great, I think that's a great idea. I think that's a great idea, man. That's uh, you know, especially for, cause it, it is stuff that like, you know, it says a lot when you kind of have that stuff going smoothly and it's all pre-planned because sometimes you do just get carried off in the current of things and it's like, you know, and that, that can be like, you can really get like, why the fuck, why did I, how did I forget this thing? So. And now, now with a lot of online services, like you can order flowers in advance for birthdays, Valentine's, holidays, et cetera, and you just give them your card, you know, yeah. and say like, yep, I want it delivered on this date. I'm ordering it for that. It, like it's, it makes it so much easier. No, for sure. And again, it goes to a, uh, that speaks to the larger thing of like, you know, what's your time management like? And it's like, God damn it. Is that a never any question? Cause it's so, it, it makes life so much easier just to sp like the, cause I all the time, like I'm too busy. I don't have time to do that. But it's like, dude, if you really do spend a couple hours, even if you spend 15 minutes planning out your day, it saves you like an hour of just hemming and hauling and just kind of yep. being like, all right, what am I doing now? It's like, yep. I, that's something I have to get back to. That's something I like. I have a nice workflow going and I've been busy, but I got to get back to, and this is a constant thing with me. I, I have a nice organized system and then I get super busy and then the, my organized system falls apart and it's like, all right, back to organizing. And you know, I genuinely, I've ran this experiment. I get more done if I spend yep. that little bit of time in the beginning and get it all set up. And it's like the time management thing is, is huge. And again, it's not just time management of work. It's like every single event of your day or like, you know, what, what are you encountering? Like, and do you have it mapped out? At least like you were saying, a skeleton, um, diagram of like your year and it also helps too with the goals of like it gives you even a more realistic picture of like okay well i'm gonna lose this it'll be this day this day this day will be off I this, and you know at least you know kind of what you're doing so you're not just like fuck yep. i forgot let me book that thing yep exactly dude um planning around the immovable things mm -hmm. is just so important like you know christmas is coming every year you know valentine's day is coming every year you know your girl's birthday is coming every single year it's like we need to stop acting like it's a surprise, like three days, three days prior, you know, and usually being reminded by another female, like our mother or something that like, Oh, remember, you know, remember your wife's birthday's coming up in three days. Like, Oh fuck. You know, yeah. like, that's just like, it's inexcusable, completely inexcusable. Um, Absolutely. I would also add to the guys, if you have, have you seen papyrus cards, Matt? No, I don't know. I, I kind of think I know what you're talking about, but what exactly is that? Okay. So in my opinion, um, papyrus cards are like these kind of like this super high end cards. They sell them at target. They sell them at uh, whole foods, like super awesome. Everything down to like the material of the paper that they use, even for the envelope. Um, 
is just super high quality. Like when you go to Target next time, just like peak, you'll see there's a whole papyrus section. And the cards cost, quote, cost a ridiculous amount of money relative to other cards. So other cards are like, I don't know, three bucks, something like that, maybe. You could probably get cards for a dollar. Papyrus cards are like 10 or $11. Okay. So arguably five to 10x uh, a, a normal card. Um, but every single time, especially if I give the card to a female, they always are euphoric in their praise about the card in particular. True. Right? So it's like down to that level of detail. Spend the extra $7 for the person that you care about and get to that level of detail. Um, and dude, it's not fucking hard. Like you don't have to like create this like enormously theatrical um, and exaggerated event for your girl on Valentine's Day or for her birthday, although that would be great. But if you just get the baselines right and consistent and reliably, oh, dude, you're beating like 95% of males. That's true. And the card is a nice flex because it is like, you know, again, it is five times the amount, but it is a card at that. So it's like. Exactly. It's $10. Out. You're getting the BMW of cards, but it's still the BMW. So it's like. And it's, t it's 10 bucks. <clears throat> like, just do it. Yeah. Um, for, same thing with going. flowers, like all that stuff, dude. Hey, another little trick that I've used that's been very successful is get flowers and then. I keep a document on any girls that I create, um, which be careful of them finding the document. I haven't had it before. Um, so that's just clever aside. Class classified. Yeah. Um, literally, it's like yeah, I asked I ask them pretty early on their height, their weight, their shoe size, um, their size in shirts, their size in pants, uh, their favorite things, favorite how, colors, favorite flowers. How do you bring yeah. that up, though? Do you do it all in one shot, or are you just kind of like, I do. Eh. Do you really? I, well, so – Actually, females are attracted to the idea. I used I used to kind of hide it, um, and I used to drip it out in piecemeal. Like, and it's like, oh, like, what's your favorite flower or something like that, just in a casual conversation. Um, now I kind of go full force and just say, hey, I'm keeping a document on you, like, because I care that much about you. Now, how I preface it is, I say, have you ever read any of John Gottman's work? And they say, no, inevitably. I say, oh, well, like John Gottman is like the Michael Jordan of relationship and family therapy. Um, if you were to go to any psycho any, any any psychotherapy conference on relationships, he would be the number one most per, uh, number one person referenced. Um, and I said his recommendation is to keep love maps on your partner. Like that's one of the biggest failures of a, of a partnership is they don't keep a love map. A love map is li quite literally simply a document um, on all the important things to your partner, right? Like what do they do? What are their hobbies? Who do they hang out with? Like what are their you know, all that stuff? What are their favorites? So now that's now how I preface it. And dude, I've never had a girl say, don't do that on me. Right? True. They get fully into it. They like fully, yeah. fully into it. So then you just spend that time. You have that document and you can build on it over time. Um, like, for instance, this girl uh, that I'm, I'm dating right now, um, she, uh, we, went, we went through and built her document. And then last night I discovered that she likes uh, a particular type of brownie brittle uh, of, of a certain brand. So I put that in the document. Well, now when it comes time to birthdays or whatever, I literally have a three-page document that I can feed from. And Good it makes point. it so much easier. So an hour-long conversation-ish to find out all of her do's, don'ts, wants, and desires. And I now have almost an eternal document that I could use, you know, like a blueprint every single holiday, birthday, et cetera. Not bad. Yeah, I, I feel like too, if you, if you just say like, I need the specs. I need your specs. So I'm about to pimp you out. I'm, I'm yeah, to, I'm yeah. not, I pimp you out. It's probably a bad word, but <laughs> probably I'm about to drip you out. I need your specs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Kaizen, ain't no, ain't no yes or no. Is that a go or no go? Or that's, maybe. that's from 50 shades. That was from 50 shades when he has oh, was it? on the table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that's a good idea, man. Just to kind of like, you know, yeah. Like why trust that to the, you know, the stuff of your fuzzy memory. Write down brands, write down anything that she like. You're walking in the store and she's like, oh, I really like that necklace. Like I take a picture of it, put it in the document. And then all of a sudden you have Christmas like planned out like super easy. And the yeah, sizes, nice. dude, sizes are so important. Dude, I know. That's a, yeah, that's a, that's a one. You don't want to get wrong. No, you, 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 you definitely do not want to get wrong, especially in the northern direction. Like you do not want to go up and then down, you know. No, no, absolutely yeah. not. So it's like, yeah, no, I agree, man. I think that's fantastic. I think that's a. Uh, I think that's all that all makes a lot of sense of just kind of like, you know, putting together something like that. So you're not completely winging everything and then being like, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent, man.
Hey dudes, sorry for the interruption here. Just wanted to let you know, if you want to join our pro team, go to romasteam.com slash pro. You can help support the channel. You will also get access to exclusive content, masterminds, one-on-one sessions, etc. All right, back to the episode. Um, cool, but so how's the week looking for you? Week's looking good, man. I got to do uh, the next two days. I'll be kind of locked in podcasting. I'm, I'm doing a podcast after this for my bros, and then I will be in New York tomorrow doing podcast stuff and then that'll free me up uh wednesday thursday friday um let me see actually it's funny i'm looking at my calendar right now um but yeah that'll that'll free me up pretty much for the rest of the week and it'll just be going to the office um i did i set it up a little bit last weekend with the help of Brittany. we we put the desk computers and stuff together so I'll nice. be there Wednesday through Friday, just kind of writing and, you know, setting up my little odds and ends and getting like the, the shots and all that set up. So mm-hmm. this week, I would say, you know, it's kind of, I'm actually thinking as I speak, it'll be half setting up like cameras and getting shots and all that for like, you know, so it's like a podcast studio and the other half will be just dedicated towards writing. So, um, Love it. yeah, I'm, ex- I'm excited to like, that place is almost ready for me to be like operating, you know, Monday through Friday, basically. So I'm pretty pumped. I'm fucking pumped for you, dude. So my, I'm just my, reading. I'm sorry, God. No, my goal is to have it operational by Thursday. Like, you know, I need to get a, a one more desk because I use my other desk for something else. So it'll be like get one more desk, get the cameras and angles all set up, get another chair. So, yeah, if, if I do that by Thursday or Friday, um, that'll be a successful week. Hell, yeah. Love it, dude. Um, real quick on Gunther's note. Gunther, that's exactly what I'm talking about. He's saying he took a girl. I'm thinking he's saying. Took a girl out. She liked this thing at the breakfast spot they went to. He went back, got the brand, and getting it for me. It's like exactly what I'm fucking talking about. Perfect. Like all we have to do as men for our women <laughs> is just is just kind of pay slight attention and then just capture those moments where they tell us what they want and then you just give it to them. Now, granted, I will be the first to say sometimes that can be annoying as shit and sometimes it can be taken overboard and that's when, in my opinion, you have to come back and say, look, like I'm not your puppet, right? Like let's yes. be very clear, right? I'm down to – providing for you and and giving you all that stuff but if we reach a level of expectation where it's on a con like you know we're gonna have to part ways respectfully right because yeah. i have needs too so i'm not saying take it overboard um but Gunther, that's exactly what i'm referring to dude nice nice move um so matt to your my question to you would be now that we're you know a couple you know a month and a half in of the new year how are your business goals coming? Because obviously I'd say a huge business goal that you had is like getting out in your own space. That's fucking enormous. How are yeah. the rest of the business goals coming for you? Uh, actually really well. I mean, I'm, I, I wanted to kind of open up two more lines of income and they're being opened up. So that's, so that it's kind of, yeah. I need a studio to do that. So that's, there's that. And then there's, you know, everything else. So everything's actually going pretty well. That was my goal for last year. And although things increased, it didn't like, I wasn't able to figure out how to do those two different things. And now, so it's like, Mm -hmm. that was something I didn't exactly hit last year. So now like this year, it's actually, it actually is happening. So I'm like, nice. Hell yeah. Awesome, dude. So other, Um, I think other than that, yeah, everything's seems to be going well. I'm pleased. I'm very pleased. So. Yeah. I mean, it's outstanding. The progress you've made in such a short period of time this year. Mm -hmm. No, I appreciate that, man. So it's like really by the end of this year, I'd like to have my the one book i'm I'm actually I, I couldn't help it i tried to hold out because i was writing a non-fiction book that i want to finish last night i kind of pigged out and started working on my fiction book and it's like man do i really love writing fiction a lot oh uh, um, yeah so i will be i'm going to figure something out where i'll be doing both of those concurrently because it's like i i it's so it, it just kills me not to write both so i'm going to just be working on two at once and hopefully my goal is to have the non-fiction done by the year and then have a rough draft of the fiction book done. So that's like, okay. that's my goal. The um, and in terms of the business thing, again, it's like really, it's just I'm at, I'm at like almost like a maintenance kind of building level. And then with I'm gonna do a, try to give a hat launch a second podcast that I do kind of regularly as well, and see how that goes. So awesome, dude! <clears throat> Fuck yeah! Um, how about you? Uh, everything's going great. So like, just to keep to be fully candid with the guys so you guys can go through me with uh, go with me on this process um all the business stuff is going outstanding like we set up a college course i think i told you guys like you know we're gonna do this saturday coming up and then the following saturday it's a six-hour course i am super pumped on it's like literally 
this will be the pinnacle of my career so far. I've always wanted to get to this point where I can get, you know, people in a room to teach them for an extended period of time. And it's like, hey, if you want to do business after this, great. If, if not, I hope you learn something like way more than you learn anywhere else. Like this is, I'm finally here. It took a couple of decades to get here. Um, and I'm super fucking happy about it. So um, that's going down. So I need to like really hardcore sprint, like focus everything this week on that class. Um, and then everything next week on that class. We have our Ohio guys coming out from our Ohio office coming to help teach the class as well. So that's going great. The other thing that is a little tricky, and I'm sharing this with the guys in case you ever have to go through something or, or you're going through it yourselves. Um, so my partner and I have a pending discussion that I told Matt about three years ago. And the, the short story of it is there was a, there was a decent sized deal that was done. Uh, actually, I'll just tell you guys the numbers so that way you can get the real texture here. So you can get the gravity of the situation. There was a deal that was done that produced $675,000 in revenue for the firm. Um, this was when I wasn't at a partner level, but it was when we had an agreement that any special revenue that was brought in at, as a function of someone bringing it in, which like was me, um, and, but there's a little bit of a nuance to that. So that's where I want to get with this, with my partner. Um, I didn't, the check was made out to the company and not, but like not me. And at that sure. point I was not partner of the company. Right. So, um, so I wrote a letter cause whenever there's like a source of thing, that's kind of complex. I love writing letters to say, Hey, here's my opinion. Let me know if you disagree. Um, and my partner came back to me and said like, Hey, um, I want to talk to you about that. Cause it, it was also baked in a larger letter. So we handled everything else <laughs> except for that. That happens to be the largest thing of the letter. Um, yeah. So I have now given it literally three years of breathing room because it's like, okay, I will focus on other things, building up the company and let it grow organically. Um, and now here we are three years later and it's like, it's now time to have to revisit that discussion. Um, so just to let everybody know that could be a risky thing, right? Like, like we run the risk of, of upsetting something, a system that's very much working. Like the business is just absolutely on fire. Um, but then the question is, if I just stay and what Jordan Peterson calls practicing willful blindness, regardless of how much the business grows, am I going to be able to at a subconscious and conscious level, let that go of that mm. un, undefined, unexplored and unclosed loop of that very large deal that was done, at least large for me. Um, and I have not seen a dime of it yet. So I'm just letting the guys know like that's a very real situation that I'm very, like very much going through right now. And it's, uh, it's, you know, I gave myself until midnight this Saturday to submit the follow-up letter requesting the follow-up discussion to that. And I don't know, we'll see where it goes. So that's gotcha. the, seven, the, the class and that letter um, are two things that I'm going to be focusing on this week. So how do you feel? Is that stuff kind of like uncomfortable to you when you have to do it? Or is it like, like how do you feel about that kind of stuff? I mean, probably 15% discomfort. Mm -hmm. But then now in the past, it would have been like 75% discomfort. Right. It's 15% discomfort just because, you know, I love this guy. Like, I don't want to put him in a weird spot. Yeah. Um, and I don't want to also, so probably like seven, like 50, half of that 15% is that the other half is like, you know, I can mess up a really good thing, right? Like, you know, so, yeah. like it could, it could throw a monkey wrench into something. Um, but I told you guys a while ago, I do not like participating in invisible economics. I hate it. Like where somebody like, for instance, one of the things he can come back with me and say is like, oh yeah, well, I had a dog geared for you. I was going to give it to you as a wedding present, like something like that, right? Like where yes, he yes. had this planned charity and if I didn't rock the boat, then he would have like that sort of thing. Sure, yeah. You see this a lot with families, mm -hmm. right? Like it happens all the time with families because the business I work in, I see it all the time. Um, it's like, oh, I was going to give this to you, but now since you asked for it, like I'm not going to anymore, like that sort sure, of thing. Sure. I hate invisible economics. <laughs> I'd rather die by my own merit than live by the charity of someone else. Sure. Um, 
for me, it has been strategic the last three years of letting it breathe. Like, okay, I will build up my skill sets, build up the book of business, build up all this other stuff so that, right? Like I don't need charity. Like I need to operate in very concrete economics. What have I earned? What have I not earned? What have you earned? What have you not earned? Let's stay super tight on that and never let it get funky. Cause yeah. once it starts getting funky, then it becomes more of like a dictatorship and the dictatorship is just like, well, that is going to depend on the emotions of the dictator for that particular day or that particular season. And I fucking hate that. Like there's yeah. no way I'm participating in that. That makes sense. Yeah. I'd be curious. I mean, I feel like, I feel like it'll be handled reasonably, you know, I, I don't yeah. think, but it is one of those things where, you know, good on you to keep like, cause there's so many things that would, I get so many little brain worms of like, it's been two years, things are going well. Let me just let this go. And, you know, but I, yeah, I think there is something to that of being like, all right, like this is the situation's back and like, you know, let's just, let's clean this up and keep it moving. Yeah, I think. And I mean, Matt knows my partner. This guy is not malicious at all. Like no. he is not, he's not like that. Um, <clears throat> while at the same time, if you let this go, it's just going to build into resentment. Like there, there is no option. Um, I have found extreme rationality, um, extreme empathy and also extreme um, disclosure right? Like really helps in this type of situation, writing a letter full out saying like, Hey, here's how I see things. I could totally see how you see it. Please let me know like where that chasm is so we can talk through it. Um, and I also understand like, this is probably going to be the biggest check you've ever written in your life. So I'm empathetic towards that. At the same time, I know that if we keep on going down this road, I will get resentful. Like there's no way, there's no way of winning that because, and then I bring in family because I need resources for my family. Sure. You're out for some reason. Hold on, so I'll 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 X you and bring you right back. Where'd you go, Wes? There we are. There you are. Get back over here. Get back up here. Ba -da 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 -da. This is a good question, actually. When Wes comes back, I'm curious if he's filming the class or not. That might be pretty cool. Hey, there dude. You are. Uh, sorry about that. <clears throat> it's all good. Uh, and I actually have to run in like a minute, if that's okay. Absolutely, uh, dude. Absolutely. My furniture's here. So, yeah, what are your uh, – so that's that's my position. I'm going to state it. And then also, <laughs> as a man, I have to be ready for whatever consequences uh, come as a result of that. And it will be stated that, like, like – if the number is zero, I sure. have to be willing to accept that, but I have to be willing to make decisions based off of that number. It's sure. like, okay, well then the dynamic has to change because now it's, there's, in my opinion, we're too far apart in what is reasonable compensation for that. And that makes me concerned about what will happen in the future. No, no hard feelings at all. But yeah. like now I know where we're at and like decisions have to be made. That's, yeah, there you go. That's good, man. I think that's I think that's fair, and I, I I for some reason do think that you know it'll be resolved. Oh, totally, Succinctly. totally. Um, yeah. Well, dude, I'll let you get your furniture. I'm actually yeah, I'm heading off to do your effed it podcast. I won't I won't cuss, but it's called uh, you fucked it podcast. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. A couple, bad, couple, a couple bad boys. Um, awesome. Yeah. So I'm I'm heading over there to do that right now. So yeah, I guess that's the goal right now, Wes. You got your goal. I got mine. Everyone, state your uh, state what you're gonna do. Also, Wes, someone wants to see if you're gonna film the class. Oh, I'm actually I'm actually uh, talking to a videographer um, today, so I will let cool. you guys know. Um, cool. But yeah, cool. Cool, cool. All right, guys. We'll have a good one. All right. See dude. you on Friday. Later. Later.